This is why we can't have nice things in the UK. That's about two days of driving. Good afternoon guys, welcome to a freezing cold video in the UK today. Um, my hands are numb. I bought gloves today, so at least I've got gloves. <clears throat> but while I've been like messing about with the camera and stuff, it's my hands are freezing. Um, yeah, today I'd run over to my local screw fix, picked up some bits. Well, that's not from, I got some spirit some brushes for hammerite and rust protection and all that sort of stuff. Some new cutting discs. Because I ran out, I used all my cutting discs on the first side of the subframe. And... We all know... Well, if you don't and you haven't watched the videos, I love me a fresh wire wheel. So yeah, that's to get like up into the nooks and crannies of the Corvair floor. So yeah, today the tentative plan is to finish cleaning up the bottom of the Corvair. Um, hammerite, whichever bits I'm hammerating, underseal, whichever bits I'm underseiling. And then we'll, we'll maybe start hitting it with the uh, Raptor bed liner. So we'll see how far we get. But yeah, the plan is... Just clean, clean the rest of the bottom of the car up and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so these are the trim panels from the underside of the Corvair that covered up the wires. If you saw the previous video, you'll know what I'm on about. <coughs> um, I've just cleaned them up with the death wheel. That thing. Um, so now I'm just gonna give them a quick coat of hammerite black and that should seal them up for, for the next few years. Ah. The top's froze. right to make all the difference. Becoming victim of the UK. For the slightly rustier areas on the bottom of the car, I'm going to be using this. Hammerite right, Q-Rust. I'm not sponsored by Hammerite, by the way. It looks like I am, but I'm not. Um, so you basically you see up there where it's a bit, a bit crusty and orange. All you do is get your cure rust, little paintbrush, dip her in, then rub on, and then you leave it. It goes black when it's uh, when it's because it basically neutralizes the rust. So when it goes black, that's when you know that you can uh, paint over it or do whatever you're doing. So dab on the. And then just paint on, like so. Right, well, I've got all the uh, underside clean now of wire wheeled, what I need a wire wheel. Painted up those bits for the under trays. Um, and then, so tomorrow, um, well, I can't do anything else now because I've got to wait for the Q-Rust to cure. Um, so probably tomorrow I'll be back down and we'll use the white spirits. 
in a rag and just wipe the full underside down. Um, and then maybe, depending on how we do for time, might get the under seal on tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I just want it out of the way. I want it sealed up so I'm not worrying about, because this, as you can see by my breath probably, the, the unit isn't dry, it's quite, the air's quite damp. Um, so, I, want, I just want to get the car fully rust proofed underneath. I still need to do the inside floor, but I probably won't bore you with the videos on that, um, unless you want to see them, but you'll have already seen the whole process of doing the underside, so that, there's only so much I'd want to watch of that, personally. But yeah, I've got some grinding discs now, so I can be cracking on with the other side of the subframe. Still got a few plates to put on this side, just around there, but um, I can start cutting the other side up and fabricating that side up. And then obviously we've still got the rear subframe to put bag mounts on. Yeah, it's a, it's, there's a lot of work, but it's all stuff I can share with you guys, so at least it's given me stuff to film. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of, it's got a lot of time in this car there up to now, definitely. So hopefully it'll be worth it in springtime when I can take it out on the streets and drag it down the road. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, lads. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Any comments, put them in the comments section. Um, any suggestions on videos or stuff you wanna see or anything, like to people you wanna see more of, cars you want, like there's the cars next door, do you wanna see more of the 1JZ46? Let me know. Um, Cause I don't, I'm sure you don't wanna just see videos of me messing about with the car there constantly so we'll try and we'll try and mix it up a bit for you so yeah like comment subscribe again and i'll see you in the next one